today. From FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. This is the National Football League. technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Washington Commanders. The veteran Joey Sly set to get us started, and we are underway in our nation's capital. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Leading them out, a two-year starter at Ohio State and second overall pick in the draft, C.J. Stroud. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Stroud. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. first down with Singletary and they went the wrong way there losing yardage back at the 43 yard line they'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11 How about the job there on the outside shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter the loss of a yard to look to push forward here on second down and 11. Stroud over the middle he gets it to Collins. Two yards still to go third down now. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. wonder if they just kind of outguess themselves a little bit, trying to run it on third down. Probably should have gone to the air to try and pick it up. Instead, the punting unit will have to run on the field. down. Here's Cameron Johnston on to punt for Houston. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. 
And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. Bringing them out, the former Tar Heel, second-year pro, Sam Howell. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records and at one point was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency, and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. Howell and the Commanders come up now first and 10 at their own 18. Now a first carry here for Robinson. It's in the 22-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 22 now, here's second and six. Again, it's Robinson. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now a third and six. And how will throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field. And that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a second and ten. Robinson on a give right side. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Powell throwing on third down here. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. In motion left goes a tight end. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Robinson. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Robinson will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Washington. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt? Turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score.
Joey Sly on for the extra point. And the kick is good, and the Commanders out to a 7 0 lead. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it was capped off by the touchdown run for Brian Robinson. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Singletary to get the drive started. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Stroud to throw it. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. On second down, it's Stroud. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. He'll get this to Devin Singletary out of the backfield. And he'll only get this to about the 35, well short of the line to gain. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. On fourth down, out is the putter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. Now it's Crowder. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. The Commanders back out late in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. Powell to the air on first and 10. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Now that certainly solidifies how to attack this two-minute drill right before the half. I don't think they were going to try and run out the clock, but now after that big play, their thoughts are certainly of trying to score and get some points before the half. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They run the draw here with Robinson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This a 33-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach!
Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half of football for the Alabama man, Brian Robinson. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. 10-0 is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because... because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Here's Tressway now. And yeah, the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Texans offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and ten. That one complete, it's Tank Dell. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Stroud off the play fake. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Stroud looking to throw. That is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Stroud to the air on first and 10. Another one caught by Collins. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and one. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive room right here. 
On first down, they stick with Singletary. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. Stroud now on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. And Stroud now to throw. Pass caught by Collins. What a catch. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So a big one coming here for Kaimi Fairbairn. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. But Charles, you cannot say enough about that play by their special teams. Think about it. That keeps this game at two possessions in the second half and really adds pressure to the opposition. Yeah, it certainly does, especially their offense. It takes a lot of pressure off the offense of the team that's leading. They've got a little bit more of a cushion to play with now. How about the thanks each guy was getting as they came off the field after that block? Special teams, certainly special in that situation. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Second and five. On the counter, this is Robinson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. 62 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. They'll run again here with Robinson. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. On the draw, it's Gibson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now second and five. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. 
Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now they need two. Here's third down. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders take the block field goal and convert it into six points. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it was capped off by the touchdown run from Brian Robinson. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first down, here's Stroud. That's complete. It's Collins. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Here goes Stroud again. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So just three yards on the completion there. And now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Stroud now on third and two. Oh, he rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Quan Martin, and the Commanders force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety, and you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. And he'll push his way, and it'll be second down. Robinson with another carry. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. On third down, Robinson shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, you Did know. enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.
The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.